Take on the Coolidge Command Bears. Tonight's action. Tonight's uh, officials for the game. Melvin. Head ref, Bart the Hinkley. National the umpire is Ed Schultz. Linesman will be Bill Belchler. And the line judge will be Rob Powell. I don't think he's related to me, Bonnie, but he looks good out there. You would know. Yeah. So tonight the Globe Tigers are going to try to come off of a, a big conference loss in the conference opener last week against the Seton Catholic. 41 to nothing was the final score in that game. A couple other games from last week, as we mentioned, Coolidge defeated Queen Creek in the conference game 28 to 6. Miami with a big win over Bobby Kibri, 41 22 down in Bobby Kibri, I believe. And was it at home? Was it at home? It was in Miami. Uh, and San Carlos lost their season opener to Maricopa 32 to 12. This week, Miami will be in Superior taking on the Superior Panthers. San Carlos taking on Hayden. And now, now we're going to have the National Anthem. Let's go ahead and take it back to the studio for another quick timeout. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming we're back here at Harbison Field as the national anthem is being played we're going to take a second to listen to the national anthem that our flag was still there oh see does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave there's the national anthem here at harvest and field Still six minutes left on the clock before the game. Captains are getting well, Barney. I was talking about the Coolidge Bears coming into tonight's game, ranked number four. What do you think about that, Barney? Well, I'm not sure what the preseason ranking was for Coolidge, but I know the Globe was ranked Arizona number two or something in the season. Of course, with that upsetting loss last week, the Seton had dropped it out of the top five. Uh, the Coolidge, without the knowing much about them other than look, it's hard to say uh, where they're going to end up in the season. Uh, over Coolidge than it was for the conference championship playing the game. So I think Coolidge is coming here tonight to look for a little bit of revenge over the Globe Tigers for that conference loss. Well, you know Coolidge is coming into this game with a bad taste in their mouth. They are coming from Coolidge once again. This is the second year in a row that this game is being played at Harvest and Field. So Coolidge has made the trip from the desert twice in two years. So they're wanting to come down. They're going to want to revenge their loss, as you said, of last season. Barney, you had a chance to talk to Coach Roger Saints, the Gold Tiger head coach, before the game. What did he have to say about last week's game and tonight's contest? All right, of course, I like... Uh, everybody uh, feels uh, he was disappointed with the way that the performance played toss. last week. He said, how they worked real hard this week and are looking forward to this week. Uh, the, and the as you know, they're returning some of the players that have been missing because of ineligibility, and one of those being Ryan Golden, uh, who you and I know uh, from past coaching experience and believe that he could be a stable person for the Globe Tigers in the running back position, also at the defensive end position. And he can make, he could. up to about the 25 to the 30, just past the 30 to the 34 and brought down in there by a host of tight We got a tight end to the left side of the slot and a tight end to the right side also in the slot with a bit of a run and shoot type offense. Motion back, misdirection, Hootsie looking to pass, he's looking downfield, he's going to be flushed out. Down the field of goals, he's brought out of bounds by number 25, Vernon Davis, but not after about 9 or 10 yards, Marty. Big pickup for the senior quarterback for Coolidge. This time it looks like the uh, Coolidge Bears are going to come out somewhat in the same formation. They have a wide receiver to the right side, right into the left. It's going to be a sweep to number three, which is Eli, Eli White. 
and he picks up another, I would say, seven, eight yards. Barney past midfield into Tiger Terry. Quick trap inside the white. White picking up the middle, up to about the Tiger 40, looks like the 42, 43 yard line. Slot to the near side. Off tackle to White. White bounces out to the outside and he picks up another about six or seven yards on the play before he's brought down in there by looks like J.D. Wander. This time Coolidge comes up with two wide receivers, single back in the backfield. Utsi under center, he's going to drop back, quick pass. He's got his man, number 23, over on the far sideline. That'll be Sean Jordan and he'll roll out the pass. They drop back to pass. Now in a pro set, Utsi under center. It's going to be a lead to White and this time the Tigers, Tigers knew what was coming on that one. They, they, they were bringing everybody and they, they brought him down before he could get anywhere. 52 receiver to the right side, single back. Utsi under center, long count, up the middle to White. White over the 35, looks like a loose ball down at about the 20, but no White. The guy's getting three or four yards before they even get close to him. This time the Bears come out to trips left. They got three wide receivers. You'd see rolling out, looking downfield. Oh, number 23, Sean Jordan all by himself on about the 10 yard line and dropped the ball. He forgot to be a, a, a tight trip to the right. Single back, tight end to the left. You'd see under center, looking it over. Gets the snap, fakes the sweep to White. Now he rolls out to his left, being flushed out by Bro Shoe. Picks up a block, throws the ball downfield, and it's going to be knocked away and down. Number seven for the Globe Tigers, Talmadge Hansen with a big play coming up to knock the ball down. And the Tigers are going to come up with the wing T look, wide receiver to the left side. They're going to hand the ball off to the second man through, which is Ryan Golden. He's fighting for yards. He gets about three on the carry off to the right side, Barney. Receiver to the left side. Tight end and, and wing to the right side. There's the misdirection. It's going to be the first man through on a give. I'm sure that's Joe Brochu, about 20 yards deep. Wander comes up with two wide receivers this time. He's going to throw to the flats. Golden stretches out and misses out of bounds. And he goes into the Tigers to run away. And it looks like number 57, Sam Cunningham, will be doing the punting duties for the Tigers. Back deep to receive, I believe, is number 20. That looks like Marion Logan for the Vandals. Nice snap. Sam pulls it down. End over end kick. Max Muff gets away. The Tigers around at number 51 side. Tom Lee. They're going to start off at the high. Now it's just an offset high with a wide receiver and slot to the near side. You can see where the pitch looks like the reverse is coming. Number 23, Sean Jordan. Jordan with a lot of room around the right side. He's going to break it up to the about. He's going down the near, the far sideline, all the way down to. Defensively, just got outnumbered with the pulling guard. This time, they're going to bring a wide receiver to the near side. Offset eye, handoff up the middle to the second back through, which is number two, Jeffrey James Jeffries, and he picks up about seven yards. Just a little off tack. Looks like they're going to have some something good to go. Up. He is now wearing number 50 jersey. For us. Let's go. Um, Karen. He's wearing 50 now? Yeah, he's got two jerseys on. He's got 17 on an eight, and then he's got 50 on the top. Oh, okay. How are we doing? Sure. What's the matter? Second now, three yards. Okay. Yeah, he just he just got into the box. And 10. Bears with a second man through, number three, that's Smith. He's going to pick up another five or six yards. And just two in the center. Long count. Takes the ball, straight drop, fakes the handoff. Now he's going around the right side. He doesn't have much to go. And out of bounds he goes by number 57. Out to the near side to cover the Sean Jordan, who split to his side. Split backs in the backfield. Jutsi fakes to two. He's going to be taken down by Ryan Golden. Nice play. Ryan Golden coming from his outside linebacker. Quarterback sneak or sack. It's fourth and 11. Bears going for it. Two wide receivers. Jutsi under center. Single back. Straight drop. Four guys downfield. He lets it go. And it is complete. Number 23 for the Bears. Sean Jordan is going to receive that down. Pass from Jutsi to Jordan is going to set up first and goal from about the nine. Wide receiver to the far side, split backs, hand off to the second man, which is Smith. No, that's not Smith, that's Jeffries, and Jeffries brought down. Wide receiver to the far side, split backs, Utsi under center, gives the second man through, which is White, cuts back to his right. He picks up about five more yards before he's brought down. Looks like uh, well, Angel Felix, number one, is who Talmadge is covering, and he's only a freshman, but he is a quick kid. Bears in motion, 
Another inside trap. Inside counter is going to go for another five or six yards. Number 20. Those Bears look like they're going to set up for a field goal attempt. They're going to be kicking from the 15. That'll make a 25-yard field goal. Looks like number 64. Johnny Mosley. Bad snap. Picked up by the Bears. And he's brought down again by Ryan Golden. A great speed by Golden in there to make it make the tackle on James Jeffries again. Jeffries couldn't get around the corner on goal and he runs him down for a big loss and the Tigers are going to take over on downs. Uh, big play by Ryan Golden again, the fumble snap. Uh, Ryan Golden's speed was able to get there before they could get to the corner and again, a big loss for them. Wing T, Hanson split to the far side. Misdirection, hand off to the second man, Ryan Gold on the near side. He picks up about four or five yards before he's met, and then he runs over a couple of defenders less than a yard for the Tigers. Wander underneath, he's going to hand off to the second man through, which is Joe Brochu. Brochu's fighting for yards. I think he gets across the 30 yard line, which will give the Tigers a first down, and indeed that's where they spot it. Joe, everywhere he goes. Wander. Handoff, quick handoff to Brochu again Brochu to the right side. And this time he's only going to pick up about two. But like Tigers to go up top, they got a wide receiver to the near side. And a wide receiver to the far side. This second man through is uh, Joe Montgomery off to the far side. That would be the the Coolidge Bears. So after one quarter of play, 0-0 zero, zero is the score. We're going to take a timeout for some quick messages from tonight's sponsors. And we'll be right back with more exciting Globe Tiger football. Traveling down the road to Saffron. I can't hear anything. Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you at all. Oh, I about the 34 yard line of the Coolidge Bears. And empty backfield, a tight end, two receivers to each side. You'd see by himself in the backfield. He's straight back drop. Quick pass to number 20. He's gonna be, that should be a fumble. That should be a fumble, Barney, and I believe that's what it's gonna be called, and it is. Number seven, Talmadge Hanson. Josh Hughes to the near side. Uh, Wander's gonna keep it around the far side. That looked more like a busted play to me. I don't, I don't know if that was it. Hanson to the near side, Rommels to the far side. Wander, quick step to, to who's that? Talmadge to the near side. Talmadge unable to hang that. Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Wander under center. He's going to fake. He's going to drop straight back, and he's going to be to Brochu in the flat. JD hit after the play. Back to punt. Utsi's going to be standing on his own 16, 17 yard line. Punts off a nice high punt. Utsi fair catches it down at about the 10 yard line. That was a nice punt by Cunningham. Wide receiver to the near side. Utsi under center with single backs. Quick trap to Jeffries. Jeffries big hole. That's Smith. And Smith all the way up to the 26 yard line. Able to get it into the end zone, which is a plus for the Tigers. Tigers look like they're changing up defenses a little bit. It looks like they're in a cover two. Utes is going to hand off to Smith, and Smith has nowhere to go on the far side, which is Ryan Golden. Tight trip to the, to the near side for Kud. Single back, Utes under center, tight into the left side. Faking to Smith. He's going to keep it around the right end. He's got a lead blocker. Looks like he's going to have a flag. Used to get away from two more. Picks up another block. He's down to the 40 and drug out of bounds at the 35 of the Globe Tigers by J.D. Wander. But not before. He's going to pick up a host of yardage. But we're going to have to quarterback. Holding call against Coons. Coons offensive player who grabbed him from behind him. Looked like a good tackle. Well, the Bears come out again in a tight trips formation looks like the same play this time he's going to pass he's looking downfield he lets her fly number 23 for the bears comes up with it and he's tackled over on the far side by joe montgomery he's going to come out in an i formation ut under center it's going to be a pitch out to the to the near side coming around the right end oh he hit there good hit by slots number five white 
Single back set, Utsi under center. He's going to drop back. He's looking out to his left. Nowhere to go. Now he's going to dump it off into the flats after being rushed by Golden. That's going to be incomplete. That's going to bring up third down and two. I think they may have some plans for him in the second half. Bears in a pro set. Wide receiver to the to the far side, tight end on the near side. Hand off to the second man through, which is White. White's going to pick up right about seven, eight, nine yards. Coming a broken eye again with wide receiver to the far side, tight end and wing to the near side. Second man through is going to the left. He's going to break back to the right. He's got three Tigers to beat, and they're going to take him down at about the 10 yard line. Actually, about the Bridge Bears are coming in with a full house backfield, two double tight ends. Utsi under center. He's going to fake. To the, to the far side, he's going to roll out to the left side, he gets around Golden, he's going to get in for the touchdown, yes, touchdown, Coolidge Bears, Randy Utsi taking it in, Bears, which is Johnny Mosley will be doing the, will be trying the point after the Coolidge Bears with the shift, number two, James Jeffrey with the hold, he gets the snap, he puts it down, Mosley's kick is up and no good to the left side. So with 7.07 left in the second quarter with more Tiger action right after this, you're listening to KIKO. What? Okay. Okay. You've got to give me more time before the play starts. Okay. I'm trying to talk as fast as I can. <laughs> Johnny Mosley kicking off for the Coolidge Bears. And we're back at Harvison Field where the Coolidge Bears, John Mosley getting ready to kick off and he kicks it deep down to the past Brandon Palmer which is going to let it roll into the end zone and it'll be a dead ball. Far side, number five, Jason Ramos to the near side. Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Second man through is Golden. He'll get the ball to the left side and he's going to pick up about a yard or two. Not much under center, quick count. Quick trap to Golden over to the left side. Tomerlin lead blocking for him, and he's going to pick up about five yards on the play. Talmadge Hansen's to the near side. Ramos to the far side. Wander's going to drop straight back. Five-step drop over the middle of Golden. Golden just had to turn and look over his back shoulder and in and out of his hands at the 50-yard line, and he was wide open. And he's going to be putting away this time to Darian Loggins, number 20 of the Coolidge Bears, and this kid's going to have some speed. Coolidge Bears are overloading their right side, which is the Tiger left side of the line. It looks like they're coming after it. Nobody back with Loggins. He's by himself. They bring 10 guys. All of them, he gets the ball off. Loggins back and away. Tomberlin and Wallace down to cover and lit to the far side. Broken eye in the backfield. Utsi hands to the second man, which is two Jeffries. Jeffries over the left side. He's going to pick up about four. Brought down by Jason Ramos coming in. A lot of straight ahead ball. Wide receiver to the far side. Split backs in the backfield. Utsi. Quick handoff to the first back up the middle. That's White. White has nowhere to go. Nigel White had nowhere to go there as uh, number 70, Devin Rodriguez. Go bro shoot. Run and shoot looks like for the Coolidge Bears. He's going to hand off to the only man in the backfield, which is White. White's over the 50-yard line and brought down to under center. He's dropping straight back. He's looking to his left. It's going to be an out and up pattern. It's a long pass. Wander there to defend, and no, he's not going to come up with time. The Coolidge Bears are coming up with the tight trips to the near to the far side, tight into the near side. White by himself. It's going to be a pitch to that side. Going around the left, picks up a block. JD Wander is going to run him out of bounds at about the 44, 43 yard line of the Tigers, and the clock's going to keep running. He brought him down, keep running around that end. White, the only man in the backfield again. Utsi under center. He's going to drop back, fakes to White, rolling to his right, downfield, and there he is, wide open again. Is number 23, Sean Jordan, but again, unable to bring the ball down inside the five yard line. Once in a while, am I pulling a Hankin? I'm pulling a Hankin. You are. Golly, uh, what's that? What? I'm when pulling a hand. We have to do a station ID. Yeah, yeah was, station ID. Have to do it like, please, oh, you have to do a station ID. So many, so many times an hour. Yeah. You know, make sure you get at least. You got to squeeze them all in in about three minutes. You got to do five of them. Yeah, just get a couple in there. Favor of Coolidge. Coolidge is coming out with the tight trips to the near side. Single back, which is White in the backfield. They're going to fake to White. Juice is going to hold on to the ball. He's coming around the right end. He's chased by Hanson and ran out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. And that's going to be our side. Two backs in the backfield. First one through his brochure and he's got the ball and he's going to lose a yard on the play Barney nothing going inside brochure and Montgomery in the backfield Wander's going to take a straight drop five steps 
outside to into the flats to number 85. That's Bobby Wallace. He's going to pick up about two by himself in the backfield. Montgomery at the slot. Four men going downfield. Wander throws it up. Nobody around except for number 20. Loggins for the Coolidge Bears. Ramos trying to make a tackle. He gets away from Ramos. Now he's up the near sideline. He's got a couple blockers and Joe Brochu takes him down. Coolidge Bears coming up with a pro set. Wide receiver to the near side with a slot. Tight end to the far side. Ute center center is going to drop straight back. Tight end over the middle. Wide receiver cutting across the middle and he's got one man to meet. That's J.D. Wander giving chases. Ramos and Hanson down the near far sideline and Ramos with a tackle on about the three yard line. He it's going to be first and goal from about the two yard line. Coolidge coming with a full house backfield, double tights. Utes is going to handle the second man, third man through, which is number two, James Jeffries, and he's in for another Coolidge Bear touchdown. That's going to bring the score now to the Coolidge Bears 12 and the Tigers 0. Utes is going to fake and roll out to his right, and he's going to hit his tight end for two. Jacob Carpenter wide open, holding Joe Montgomery, Brandon Palmer, all back to receive. Kick's going to go to Montgomery, he's going to drop back and it's going to go inside the end zone and again the Tigers are going to be forced to take over on the 20 yard near side. How much to the far side? Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Hand off to Golden on misdirection. He's on his feet still down to the 34, 31 yard line before he's brought down. Side. Handoff is fake to Brochu. Now he's going to throw to Brochu out in the flats. Miss, this time makes the catch and cuts upfield. Doesn't go out of bounds. Stays inbounds. Gets a first down up to his own 45 yard line. Enough. Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Hand off to the first man through his bro shoe. He has nowhere to go. He's going to be dropped. Well, they're going to come out in their regular wing tee. Ramos to the far side. Hanson to the near side. Wanders dropping back seven yards, seven steps. He's going to throw it to Hanson over the middle and incomplete. A little too high. Hanson to the near side. Bro shoe and Golden in the backfield. Wander, straight drop. Looking downfield. He's going to throw it. He's hit as he throws it. Incomplete to Bobby. Number 20, Darian Loggins is going to be deep for the Bears, and there's going to be a flag at scrimmage. They bring 10 guys, big snap over Cunningham's head. He tries to pick it up, and he's tackled in there at the 20-yard line by number. There's only seven seconds. This will be the last play of the half. Wander's going to hand off to Golden around the left side, and he's going to be tackled at about the 35-yard line of the Bears, and the clock, an explanation on the clock. Golden, a little slow to get up. Hopefully. Right now, taking a couple of jogs up and down the field. Looks like you guys are getting a lot of speed for the Tiger offense. Some that they need tonight. Well, there's the kickoff. It's going to be a low line drive. It's going to bounce to about the 15. Montgomery picks it up on the run, and he's on the near side. He breaks one tackle. He's got two men to go. He's down the middle, far sideline, and finally driven out of bounds by number 20 to the line of scrimmage with Ramos to the near side, Hanson to the far side. Golden in the game. He's going to get the ball on a misdirection off tackle to the right side. He's going to pick Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Second man, oh, that's Montgomery. He's coming Montgomery to the near side. The Busts up, up one tackle and cuts it inside down to the, about the 48-yard line and brought down after about three. The near side, Ramos to the far side. I almost forgot his name. Uh, Wander is going to take the snap. He's going to roll out to the right side, keep it himself. He has nowhere to go. Brought down on the near sideline, right in front of him. Wander stays in, but I believe he's going to punt. Cunningham on the sideline. It's going to be a snap to Wander. He's going to fake. He's going to throw it up. Hanson underneath it, and it's going to be picked off by number 23 of the Coolidge Bears, Sean Jordan. That's a nice play. Really, it is. They're down on their own 15-yard line. They're in with double tights, full house backfield. Hand off to White, the third man through, and he has nowhere to go. Tigers stack it up. Looks like James changed for strategy there. Going away. Jeffries on that carry. He's the back in the uh, farthest back in the backfield. He's going to get the ball again on a sweep to the right side. He's going to break it around the far side. He's got one man to beat for the Tigers, and they're going to run him out of bounds on the far side. The Tigers ended up closing shop often tonight, but that time they did. Double tight. Full house backfield. Utsi with the fake. He's going to keep it around the left side. Tigers defender falls down. Wander with a big hit. And takes him out of bounds. The Coolidge offense down at all. Full house backfield. Double tight for the Coolidge Bears. Tigers in their 5-2 defense. 
Utsi under the center, takes a snap. He's going to hand off to Jeffries, third back through, and he has nowhere to go. Globe Tigers stack him up, and he's going to lose a yard. Anything from him so far this game, except for a couple of plays, but that was a big one. Utsi fakes to Jeffries. He's going to take a big hit by Wallace and get it out to the flat. Pass intended for Jacob Carpenter, incomplete, with Talmadge Hansen covered. Junior, or a sophomore, he's six foot three and 190 pounds. He's going to be a good one. Utsi confused. He's going to... Coolidge Bears with a third down and 10. Situation right now on their own 44, almost 45 yard line. Wide receiver to the far side with a slot. Utsi's gonna pitch it out to Jeffries. Jeffries around the near side. He cuts it up on the sideline. One man to beat and that's Shady Wander. And he's gonna drag him down at about the 30, well that's a 43, 44 yard. Get those 10, 11 yards. Well the Bears are gonna come up in the formation they used early on in this game. Wide receiver to the far side, pro set backfield. They're going to fake twice with Utsi. Utsi's going to drop back, roll into his right. It's downfield, and oh, Jacob McBride reading that play perfectly, coming from the free safety position. Coolidge Bears wanting a flag, but that's not the case. Jacob McBride, wide receiver to the far side, wide receiver to the near side, slot to the right. Utsi's going to drop straight back, four receivers downfield. He's being flushed out, hit just as he throws it, and this one's under thrown, and that one is exactly what the Tigers needed, number 52, Riggin. No, you can't see him with all the big guys standing around him. Nevertheless, it's third and 10. Coolidge with trips formation to the far side. Utsi under center with White by himself in the backfield. It's going to be a trap. Tigers read it well, but can't come up with the tackle. White's down the near sideline and ran out of bounds at the 32-yard line by J.D. Wander, and that's going to be enough again on third and 10. Wanted him, but just over-pursued him, and he got away. This time they come up with two wide receivers, two guys in the backfield. That's going to be Jeffries off to the right side. He's got one block, and he's going to make another cut, and he's going to get up to about an eight-yard gain at about the 25-yard line. Looks like he grabbed by the state sure. Yards for the Coolidge Bears. This time Jeffrey's gonna go to the far side. One, one man in the backfield, that's White. Utsi under center, looking for a pass. He drops back, four guys deep. He's got a man wide open, that's Jeffries. Down at the five, he reaches up and in and out of his hands again. Oh no, that's a flag and that's a bad flag. If that one's going against the Tigers, that is just not a good call. The linesman was unable to keep up with the guys running down the field. Jeffries, Hanson and McBride, but either way, it wasn't a very good call. But it's first down again for the Coolidge Bears on the Tiger 20-yard line. Pro set, second man through is White. He's got the ball, he's off to the left side. Wander around his ankle and he'll bring him down at about the 13 yard line. So a pickup of about seven on the yard. Uh, inside the 10. Well, they got their backs to the wall again. They've come up big so far in this game when, this, when they're in this situation. Single back is White and he's going to get the ball. Tomberlin in and out of his hands and Talmadge Hansen comes up with a nice tackle. Nice open field tackle by number seven Talmadge Hansen. A five foot 10, 165 pound defensive back in his junior year. Comes up and makes a tackle. Uh, Touchdown saving tackle for the He's split to the near side for the Bears. Number 23, Sean Jordan to the far side. UT directing his troops in the backfield. White by himself, single set back. UT under center. It's going to be a handoff up the middle. Dwight untouched, and White's in for another touchdown. 14 yards out, a quick trap up the middle, right over the heart of the Tiger defense, and he went in untouched. I think the first man to touch him might have been McBride at about the one, and all he could do is jump out and wave at him as he went in. For no, they didn't even know what happened. They just heard the whistle blow. He went through there quick, a nice quick trap for the Coolidge Bears. They're going to make the shift on the swinging gate. Number 64, Johnny Mosley is setting for the point after attempt. Snap is good, the snap, the hold is good, and the kick is good. So, with 5.22 to go in the third quarter. Six. How many yards? 112. kicking off. Coolidge Bears kicking off. Brandon Palmer picks it up on his own one-yard line, brings it down to about the 25-yard line. Another. Well, the Tigers are going to come out with Ramos split to the far side. Hanson and Wallace to the near side. Hanson in motion going across. Quick pass out to Hanson behind the line of scrimmage. He picks it up, and they're going to lose two yards on that play. Pretty good play, I thought, for a second, but the, de the defensive line is trying a little something different. They got a 
wing in tight. Josh Key split to the left side. Golden with the second man through on misdirection to the near side. He's going to get about seven, eight yards, dragging a couple of Bear defenders with him before he's brought down. Number 50. You see Ryan Golden out there on the offensive side. Jacob McBride is going to be split to the far side. We got a tight and a double wing on the near side. Same play, hand off to Golden on the near side. He's going to turn up the tackle, and he's going to be brought down just shy of the Tiger 35-yard line. Until they break the huddle, Barney, you can almost guess that 100% of the time. Hanson split to the far side. It's going to be a misdirection to Ramos. Ramos is going to be stopped short, and the Tigers are not going to come up with the first down. He's going to be right at the 35-yard line, which means he's less than a yard short, but is short. I think they're going to have to win the changeup to measure that. Right, I'm not good at math, but 17 and 112, that's pretty close to about 8 yards of carry, I think. Good job, Barn. They got two guys split to the far side, one guy to the near side. White's by himself in the backfield. You'd see it, the quick pass off to number 23 for the Jordan for the Bears, and he's going to pick up about 15 yards uh, after the kick. So he caught the ball about the uh, block on J.D. Wander. I believe that was him. This time, it looks like Jordan's going to be split to the far side along with Jeffries, two men in the backfield. White goes to his near side. He's going to pick up a block. There's a pass out in the flats to Jeffries. Or uh, Loggins, Darian Loggins, and he's going to drop one. I thought it was Jeffries because Jeffries been dropping them all night. But that time it was Loggins. I think illegal substitution is what that one. This is right. And I believe it's me again, Barney. Looks like a little. Uh, take a look at the guy in the white hat. He's the one that tells us what's going on. Bears come out with a single back. He's going to go in motion. That's White. Oh, he sets. There's too many guys in motion. They're going to make a shift. Now they're in the tight. Yuti going around the left end all by himself, picks up another block. He's down to the five and the four, and he's rushed out of bounds over there by number 40, who is Joe Gonzalez, along with number 63. About 10 yards back off of the ball, which is how get inside the 10 yard line. Actually, they're going to spot him out of bounds at about the seven, so it's going to be second down and real short. They're going to go with a spread trip to the far side. White by himself in the uh, backfield. Hand off on a trap to White. White's over the middle, untouched again and into the end zone. That trap is worked to perfection for the Coolidge Bears tonight. And the Globe Tigers just unable to stop it. The Bears spread them out. With the possible formation you can think of. I think they've ran it, ran it successfully. Well, Johnny Mosley, he's been a big part of the Coolidge Bear offense, pulling on those traps and getting downfield on sweeps. He's going to try the point after. The snap's good. The hold is down. The kick is up, and it's good. So that's going to bring the score 28 0 with 226 to go here in the third quarter of play. And after this. I know one thing. Man, they're getting that thing up here quick. Keeping this game going. They sure are. First and ten. Hanson and Ramos both to the near side. Tight end Wallace on the left side. Two backs in the backfield. Broke shoe and Golden. Wander rolling out to his right, looking downfield. Now he finds his receiver Talmadge Hanson, and that's going to be complete. About nine yard gain. Down to about the 41 yard line of Coolidge. The, the soft spot of the zone of the Coolidge Bears and JD doing a good job of finding him. Talmadge again split to the near side along with Ramos. Wallace stays in the block. Wander looking downfield. He's being pursued. He's got a hold of him. He's going to throw it up, and that's going to be picked off by Jeffries. Jeffries down the near sideline. Wander doesn't see him. He goes past him, and he's going to take that in for another Coolidge Bear touchdown. Another ill-advised pass by Wander when he was in the grasp. Still tried to make something happen, and right at this point in time, Barney, you can't blame J.D. for wanting to make something happen. They were down 20. He said trying, maybe trying to make something happen, but uh, maybe maybe should have been trying to make something happen with four defenders on one receiver. Well, that was Sean Jordan with the return, and he's going to hold the ball for Mosley. Mosley's going to kick it, and that's going to hit the parking lot. Of Man, he kicked the heck out of that. <laughs> now in the second half, when they get the ball, the Tigers just can't... Uh, come up with anything afterwards. Another low line drive kick. Montgomery's going to field it and then he's going to run away from it. Palmer's going to pick it up at the one. He's going to slip and try to come up field and he gets hit hard at the 10 yard line and down he goes by a host of Coolidge Bears and Palmer might have been better off just let at the nine yard line. Well communication is going to be something they're going to work on at practice come Monday. Josh Key split to the far side. 
Wallace is the tight end on the right side. Brochu and Golden in the backfield. Golden moved, but no flags. He's going to go off tackle to the right side and pick up about two yards. Again, the Globe Tigers sting. Think about trying to spread the offense out, trying to gain a little yards. What they've tried so far hasn't been working. Well, they're going to spread it out because McBride's to spread to the near side. Ramos to the far side. Wallace to the tight end on the left side. It's going to be the second man through, which is Brochu on a quick dive, and he's going to pick up about seven yards and he's going to be real close to it locked and Brochu got by and picked up about seven yards on the Globe Tiger first down. Again Ramos split to the left side. Wallace tied in on the left side. Josh Key to the near side. Gonzalez in the backfield with Golden. Wander fumbles the ball on the exchange and oh, the Coolidge Bears are going to come up with it. So now the Coolidge Bears are going to have first down and 10 again and this time from the 20 yard line defense and the Coolidge Bears coming up to the line of scrimmage. They're up 35 nothing, 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. Pro set formation for the Coolidge Bears. Underneath handoff to Jeffries. Jeffries around the left end. Wander coming up to get him, and he drops him at about the 10-yard line, maybe down to the 9, and that was Darian Loggins. I'm getting Loggins and Jeffries mixed up. Trapped to White, and White's the only back in the backfield for the, for the Bears. Let's see if they come with the same play. And it is. It's the same play, but this time Utsi's going to keep it off the fake. Utsi's at about the 5 and the 6. He's going to stop, and he's going to be drug out of bounds by number 57, and that's going to be... That's Sam Cunningham for the Globe Six. That's about three yards, Barney. We are going to have to work on that math. Split backs for the Bears and White again up the middle, and he's going to be in for the touchdown. Coolidge Bears again getting on the scoreboard, and the Tigers just unable to hold the Bears out of that's a That's a tough question for Dave. Well, anyways, Mosley's going to set up for the point after, try to make it 42-0. Snap is good. The spot's down. The kick is up, and it's good. He splits the upright. Mosley's just been on fire lately, and he puts it through and it's 42 nothing. We're going to take it back uh, for a quick timeout back to the studios when we'll be back for the rest of the fourth quarter and the Globe Tigers receiving. Who's the Diamondbacks playing tonight? <laughs> Well, Mosley sets up, he's going to kick the line drive, and that's going to be right at Palmer. He's going to pick it up, has to catch his balance. He's going right up the middle, now he's going to break it out to the right side. He runs into two defenders and down at about the 30-yard line. So Palmer's going to bring the ball up to the 30-yard line. Well, they've had plenty of time to scout the returners for the Tigers. They've been on the field quite a bit the last two weeks, but... Ramos to the near side, Hanson to the far side, quick trap to Montgomery up the middle. He's going to shake a couple of defenders and he's going to break a couple more tackles. That was set trap up the middle tonight quite a bit. Josh Keats to the near side, Ramos to the far side, Brochu and Montgomery in the backfield. Number seven is quarterbacking for the Globe Tigers, Talmadge Hanson. He tries to hit Ramos with a quick slant pass to the far side. And it was deflected in there by the defensive end. I don't even think the offensive player had time to get up and get a little block on him. He stuck his hand up and blocked it. Well, we got double slots. Uh, McBride and Montgomery to the near side. Ramos and Wallace to the far side. It's going to be an inside handoff, I believe, to Brochu. And Brochu has nowhere to go. He might have. They're trailing by 42. Josh Key to the near side. Ramos to the far side. Brochu and Montgomery in the backfield. Hanson under center. Second man through is Montgomery. Montgomery is pushed up past the 40-yard line, and I believe if he has a good spot there, Barney, he's going to have a first down, and he does. Yeah, it looks like they gave him a real good spot. It looks like he was stopped about it. Can get past that first down marker. McBride to the near side, Ramos to the far side. Hanson under center. He's going to drop back. He was looking for a quick pass to Hanson. I'll tell you, the corners for Coolidge are now giving a lot of cushion to the. And they've been giving that cushion all that long, but uh, the Globe Tigers haven't been able to take away from the long, the long spot. Yeah, you're exactly right. Give them the underneath stuff, take it away. That's a penalty on Coolidge. It's going to make it first and one for the Tigers. Hanson with the fake, and he's in trouble. He drops the ball. The ball's loose, and the scramble for it down at about the 37-yard line. And the official wastes no time saying the Coolidge Bears will, receive, will recover it. 
Talmadge Hansen under a lot of pressure. Barney gets hit from behind, loses the ball, and Coolidge comes up with it. Uh, J.D. Warner plays a quarterback the whole game. Uh, maybe Talmadge came in and uh, a left couple of periods and uh, now quarterbacking for the Coolidge Bears is number one, Alex Felix. Oh, it's a fumble by the Bears, and number 24 for Coolidge. Joey Shaw jumps back on the ball, but they're going to lose about 15 yards of play there. Number one, their new quarterback is Angel Felix. He's only a freshman, Barney. He's a big kid, 5'10", 170 pounds, and he's getting some good experience right now in the fourth quarter of this ball game. He gives off to the second man through, who is white, I believe. Eli White, he's going to pick up, uh, I'd say, about eight or nine yards on the play. And that's going to make a band here. Are they here tonight? Yeah, I, I, I can't see them, but I can hear them. Oh, there they, they are, right play. in front of us. Coolidge Bears come out with a wide receiver to the near side. And Felix is going to drop back to pass. Vernon Davis there for the interception. He's going to pick it off at his own 40. And he's past midfield and all the way down to the globe to the Coolidge Bear 43 yard line. Number 25, Vernon Davis, a 5'10. And uh, make something happen. Nice play by the sophomore linebacker. Hansen brings the ball, brings the Tigers up to the ball. He's going to hand off to the second man through, which is Karen. Karen's hit hard after about two yards. Karen with good second effort. He pushes his. Enough about Karen and how tough he is and how hard nosed he is. What a great football player. Josh Key to the near side. Brochu and Karen in the backfield. Hanson, the quarterback, he's going to make a fake. He's going to throw out to the flats. That's going to be Joe Gonzalez. And that, again, again, hits the Globe Tiger in the hand. Well, the Tigers are going to break huddle, and uh, they're going to come up with three back Tigers in the backfield. Now Gonzalez is going to come off the field. Two guys in the backfield. Josh Key to the near side. He's split. It's going to be a draw play around the back. The number 25, Vernon Davis. Vernon Davis up the middle. He starts to lose the ball, and he, gain, he regains control of the ball. That was a nice play. That was a great play. Hanson drops back. He goes backwards. Vernon Davis goes backwards. They had the ball around the back of each other. Vernon comes up a big game and the Tiger first down. Davis will stay in the backfield along with Karen. And the handoff's the first man through, which is Davis up the middle on a quick trap. And he picks up again about four yards right for the Globe Tigers. Josh Key's going to come spread out to the left side. That's the near side. Ramos to the right to the far side. Looks like the Tigers are going to move. The pass is complete to Josh Key on a quick slant. And he's going to pick up about six yards. No flags on the play. They're going to go ahead and let that one go. Number 25. Tigers break huddle, come up to the line of scrimmage. Number three, Jacob McBride on the near side. Tight in, tight wing on the far side with Ramos. Second man through, it's going to be an inside handoff to Ramos. Ramos finding nothing, nowhere to go, trying to get past the defender on the right. Both of them freshmen. I'm not sure, I can't remember what his name is. Hanson under center, Ramos to the far side, key to the near side. He's looking inside the key, lets it go a little high, incomplete. Key really had no, no chance at that one. Hanson let it go a little bit high, over through Josh Key, incomplete, zero in favor of the Coolidge Bears. McBride's going to come out of the huddle. He's going to be at the split out to the near side. That's the left side. We're almost to the far side. Vernon Davis and Robert Karen in the backfield. Hand off to Robert Karen. And he's going to pick up some pretty good yardage on the right side of the offensive line for the Tigers. And he's going to be real close to a Tiger first down. But they're going to go for two earlier, Adrian. But we'll give him this one. He's, he might be right. Fourth and about the length of a ba uh, football on about the five and a half yard line of the Coolidge Bears. Hanson under center, and the Coolidge Bears didn't like timeout what they see. They're gonna call timeout. So they to be there once again next Friday. 42. They haven't been, they haven't been, they haven't been, they haven't been scoring touchdowns all last week. Uh, this is, I think, a pivotal formula. They need to try to get hands on more points on board. Well, here's a big play for the Globe Tigers. Hanson under center. He's going to hand off to the second man through is Robert Karen. He's going to break through the line scrimmage and he's in for the touchdown. Globe Tigers finally getting into the end zone and getting the goose egg off the board. That's going to make the score 42 to 6 and a nice run by Robert Karen. We'll call it what, five or six yard touchdown there for him. Six yards, one, but he went in. Whatever it was, it's about 200 pounds extra than what he had. He went in. They're going to go for two. Hanson under center. It's going to be an inside handoff to Ramos again. That tackle trap's just not working for the Tigers. Ramos, I don't know if he's just a little unsure. This is his first game back in the last time. Last year, uh, playing, uh, playing a few months, and I'm to serve me over 
over the last year. Expecting it also. They've got a lot of guys up on the uh, line of scrimmage. The Tigers break huddle and Bears are going to back up a little bit, but that doesn't mean anything's off here. Both Tigers, Joe Gonzalez, going to address the football. And he's going to go ahead and kick it away. That's going to be taken down by Dante Jones at about his own 12-yard line. He comes up the middle, and he's met by a host of Globe Tigers, led by number 41, Brandon Palmer in there on the tackle, along with Robert Karen, Bobby Wallace, and number 22 personnel in for the job. And the uh, Coolidge Bears up to about the 27-yard line. Again, out Angel Felix will be doing the quarterbacking. He's a freshman. He's under center. He's going to hand off to the first man through on a quick draft. He's going to gain about a yard. The ball carry. They're up 42 nothing. 407 or 42 six. 405 on the clock. Two backs in the backfield. Felix gets the ball. Hands off to the first man through. That's going to be Shaw again. Shaw again, maybe a yard. If he's lucky, Barney. Run the clock out. They got a freshman quarterback in. His name's Angel Felix. They got some young kids running the ball. Joey Shaw. Well, actually, he's a senior, but he's, he wasn't running much earlier on. He's going to get the pitch out to this side, to the right side on this play. And he's going to be met by a couple of Tigers. Number seven, Talmadge Hansen. Number 40, Joe Gonzalez. And also number 52, back 5'10", 170 pounds. Number one, Angel Felix. Looks like a good athlete, tall kid. He's going to take the snap. He misses the fumble. He misses the handoff and fumbles the ball. Trying to reach out for number 24, Joey Shaw. Unable to get him the ball. Hits him in the hip. Running back, Joe Montgomery comes in. Hanson still doing the quarterbacking for the Tigers. And he's got the right wide to the near side. He's going to hand off to the second man through. No, it's a fake. Looks downfield. Hits Joe Gonzalez again in the hands. And I'm telling you, Barney, that's a bad place to hit the Tiger. Well, uh, side, I mean, Sam Cunningham's going to be the tight end. Ramos wide open over the middle. The ball's up and incomplete. That one was intended for Cunningham, and he went up. Got Vince Garcia doing a good job of getting the uh, kicking tee for the Globe Tigers. Hanson underneath, he's going to hand to the second man. That's Karen around the right end. Check. Hills Camp lead blocking for him, and that was nice blocking by Cy Tomerlin. Hanson under center. Ramos split to the near side. Two backs in the backfield. Hand off to Karen up the middle. And Karen fights for some extra yardage, and he's going to be real close to the Tiger first down. The officials are going to have to stop the clock and take a look at this one. Come up with a good block, and Karen. Ran head on with the free safety and pushed him back, but they're going to be short, Barney, by about a foot to come up with the split back set. They're going to hand off to the second man through, which is Jeffries, and Jeffries is going to be stacked up at the line, and that's not Jeffries, that's Dante, Dante Jones, and I believe we'll be coming to you live from Safford next week, Globe Tigers and Safford Bulldogs. Well, the Coolidge Bears actually dropped back like they're going to throw a pass. Angel Felix looked down as if he was going to throw a pass. I've seen it too in the Coolidge Bears, 0-0. Zero, zero. And after that, it just went downhill for the Tigers. Coolidge Bears moved to 2-0. And, oh, and the Globe Tigers moved to 1-2 overall. Oh,